2017 Albert Lee Seafair Cup, Heat 3B. And there is the five minute gun. And we'll let Mark Allen and Brad Luce take over our play by play. Race fans, that is your five minute gun. And now it's time to go racing. Here's who will be racing in Heat 3B presented for. 16, oh boy, Alberto, J.W. Myers. The nine, Les Schwab Tires, Andrew Tate. The 440, Bucket List Racing, Dustin Eccles. 12, Graham Trucking, J. Michael Kelly. Those around you, everybody must be out of the water when the hydros are on the Ted Jones race course. Now it's time to get out of the water and enjoy the world's fastest race boats. The 3 b is presented for Seafair by Eckrich. Mark Allen, your timing is precise every time you get done with that intro. It is precisely four minutes until the start. Four minutes. You called four boats and four names. All four are up and running and out on the water. They come out just as you call them. The last boat to come around our, out of the lagoon and come Nine. around the At the approaching cut. Still on the back chute. Still on the back chute. Nine, all the way through turn two. Entrance turn two on nine. We'll be this one. It's going to be fast. It is going to be a very fast heat. We've got the top three, at least three of the top of six boats uh, that are here in the pit area. When you, you know, I, I got a little tongue tied there because everybody is fast. You have to be very careful with that because you're going to be excluding somebody. You don't want them coming down. Nine, nine coming up to pull up on you. There you go. You can run him down. You can run him all the way down to the turn. He's going to go around you here. Side him on the right side. Waved as he goes by. Andrew Tate says, I'm right here in the U9, the Les Schwab tire behind the field. Here comes J.W. Just entering turn one. So there's your nine. He's good. You're kind of pushing him off his game. That's fine. Get up there. Don't let him get five. Don't let him get five. Push him, push him, push him. And our crowd on the beach is seeing Dustin Eccles in that bright orange U440 bucket list racing on the outside. He's a rookie. He has earned his stripes, but he has not earned the ability to run up front and in the mix of things for lane number one. So he will be on the outside in Heat 3B. We have a game of cat and mouse going on right now because J. Michael oh, Kelly... Two of you, them coming through. Yeah, here comes uh, here comes the Alberto through the infield, but when they came down the front straightaway the last time, J. Michael Kelly was on the inside and Andrew Tate went by him on the outside. Kelly then mashed the gas a little bit and wouldn't let Tate get away from him. Now here comes Tate. He's coming down still... He's going to try to cut under you. If you want to cut, you can cut. Cut. Nice job. He's going to have to probably follow you or he's going to be damn early. What's he going to do? Is he going to go all the way down? Kelly yes, cutting through. Kelly cutting through prevented, which was a completely legal maneuver, but it prevented Andrew Tate from cutting through because Tate was right. I'm watching you. I want you to go ahead and cut the lights now. Cut, cut, cut. Get underneath J-Dub. Now you're good. Back her down, back her down, back her down. You've got it. Any second area because you're going to have a difficult time maintaining 80 miles an hour. Now look at J. Michael Kelly cut the race course. He can come down here at a buck 30 mark. He can come down at 130 and be well behind 120 at this buoy. I like where JMK sits right now. 23, 22, 21, perfect. You're going all the way down, turn one. He is slowing down. You gotta, gotta keep that 80 miles an hour. Uh, Tate is slowing down as well. They are at one minute and 10 seconds to the start. And we've got J.W. Myers plowing water coming down the front straightaway, but he picks... He's going to have to make up the one minute on the 440. So we get to get a good start here, and then we got to run hard, so we beat him by a minute. We'll still give us a third. He would be in lane number three with Dustin Eccles out in lane number four. Dustin's early. He's very early up there, and he's going to be on the far, far outside. With J. Michael Kelly halfway up the back stretch. Now here comes J.W. Myers on the inside of Andrew. Get yourself back into about lane two if you want. Those guys are back. You can pick two. Boy, I'm surprised Down Tate let him in there. 28 seconds to go before the start. Those two guys are a little bit late, actually. And Kelly is a little bit early at 20 seconds right now, entering the north turn. Dustin Exit Eccles at 11. Exit 12 at that speed. Try that. You're still a little early. You're a little early. 12, 11. All right. Let's go, 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 go. Come on. Go, go, go. They are way back, almost full tail. 
lane one if you need to. Go, go, go after the start. You've got overlap, lane one, you're great, you're great. In our Heat 3B presented by Eckridge, it is J. Michael Kelly. He's going to come down here in lane number one. Eccles is on the outside, but he's going to be on the far outside. The race is going to be for second place as they come out of the lower corner, Mark. All right, nice job. Plus six, plus six on the outside guy, uh, which is J-Dub. Lane two, lane two, lane two. But right next to him on the outside is Andrew Tate in the Les Schwab tire. And they're starting to close in just a little bit on J. Michael Kelly. It's Kelly through the turn, but he's a lot less than a rooster tail now between him and Tate and, and uh, J.W. Myers. I'll tell you, the fast boat on the race course down the backstretch that time was the U-16, the old boy Alberto. J.W. Myers was flying, and he's going to come down in second place behind Kelly. He's got his hands full with Kelly out in front of him, and he's got Tate right alongside him now. Look at the race for second place. It is Myers on the inside. Tate, dead even with him as they come into the lower corner. A lot of air under both boats, and you can put a blanket across a mark. They're dead even. Absolutely dead even, Kelly, off the turn, but the race is for second place and it's J.W. Myers inside of Andrew Tate. Now Tate takes about a bow's length lead, one boat length lead for Andrew Tate out in lane number three as they're halfway up the backstretch, layup number two and it's Kelly in the lead. It is Tate now stretching out a little bit. I see you through this corner, settle it down and turn the wheel. J.W. Myers and the Oboy Alberto, they're at the apex of the north turn. These guys are turning laps probably close to 150 miles an hour racing speed. They're coming to you, Brad. Coming out to put two in the books. J. Michael. All right, buddy. White flag. One more lap. Tell you what, Andrew Tate, he has gotten around J.W. Myers, and he set sail for the 12, the Graham trucking, and he's driving the daylights out of it. I don't know if he can catch him. He's got more than a Brewster tail to make up, but you know Andrew Tate, he will not stop until he's done, Mark. Kelly off the turn, south turn. This is the last time around the white flag lap. Actually, Kelly extended the lead a bit. Tate had a longer race course to go. He was a little bit farther out in the south turn, and it's J. The nine just almost went over. You are fine. You are fine. You can take a nice lane two turn, finish the steal off. Enters the north turn for the final time here in lap in heat 3B, and now it is Andrew Tate entering the turn. So almost a full turn. The difference between J. Michael Kelly in first, Andrew Tate in second as they come down to the finish. Finish line, Brad. Checkered flag, three up and three down. J. Michael Kelly will pick up the checkered flag, I think, for the course. Nice job, beauty driving, Mike. Or there, I think he decided, all right, that's too much to make up in one lap. He'll sit back and take second place. But I'll tell you what, that was a hard-earned second place because J.W. Myers, who comes across in third, oh, he showed everybody some speed. That first run down the backstretch on lap number one, Mark Allen, he had that U16 Old Boy Alberto up and running. That was three fast H1 Unlimited hydroplanes. That it certainly was, and they maintained that speed and maintained that minimal separation there all the way through that first lap, up the back stretch, the second lap, and finally Andrew Tate was able to get around at the end of lap number two. He was able to stretch out his lead just a little bit over J.W. Myers. So unofficially, Heat 3B won by J. Michael Kelly in the U-12 Graham Trucking. Second place to Andrew Tate in the U-9 Les Schwab. Third place, and J.W. Myers just drove a really fantastic race for a guy who's only been in that boat for a few laps.